With Taylor Cummings, you're about to head out onto the field. Ricky Freed getting you guys ready. What was he saying to you in the huddle? He's mostly just saying to have fun, enjoy the moment. We all are at the top of our game and we know how to play. So just play with each other, have fun, and uh, put on a little bit of a show. Who are you most excited to get out here and play with or against? Well, there's obviously a lot of Terps out there on my team and against. And so anytime we're on the field together, it's just an awesome experience. And I'd rather them be on my team than against me, but we'll have fun no way, nonetheless. Good luck, Taylor. Have fun out there. Thank you. Overall, I think uh, the WPLL exhibition weekend was just a great chance to not only learn more about the league that we're a part of, um, but a chance to showcase to the public just how talented everyone on the field is going to be. Um, we have, we're in a really unique situation where every player is awesome. Um, they come from different schools, different backgrounds, different uh, experiences, but each person brings something really unique to the table, um, and it's gonna be really exciting for fans to watch. So I think that was probably the coolest part overall, is just getting our first, being together for the first time and showing the fans uh, what we're all about. This will be an epic battle here, I'm sure, at the draw. Doby and Cummings, two of the best draw takers in the world. Doby plays it to herself, but Cummings is able to come up with it, and we are underway here Showcase game of WPLL Exhibition Weekend. Notice the pace of play and the, and the, and the lack of whistles, if you will. Yeah, I think they're, you know, bo oh, both teams. I think one of my favorite plays from the weekend was actually a defensive play. Um, Holly Riley, who was um, a Princeton defender and played field hockey at Princeton, um, who just had a kid, by the way. Uh, did this like sliding field hockey move where she like slid on the ground and extended her stick to bat away a ball and it was awesome. It was so cool to watch her out there. She, you can tell that she had a kid. She was running past all of us people who haven't had kids um, and she looked amazing and I think she's a great representation of um, how hard you can work and how even as um, even as you grow older, you know, if you still keep your head in it and work hard, um, you can kind of have it all. So I have so much respect for her, and I think that play in particular was awesome. And as always, Dana Doby showing the world what she can do. She actually made Sports Center top 10 um, for this crazy, like, behind the back, between the legs play off a pass from Zoe. And the fact that it made Sports Center was just huge for not only our sport, but our league. First game ever played, you land on Sports Center top 10 with that amazing shot. And I think it just, again, shows the world what we can do and what the WPLL has to offer. Um, so we were all really excited about that recognition. And Dana, of course, did amazing per usual. And I think my last favorite thing about the, the uh, day was just the Legends game in general. You know, watching them out there, running around, having fun and showing how amazingly talented they are um, just like was an inspiration to all of us. I think that we can still, we can do so much for our sport as they've done for us. Um, and then Jeb Adams like rico ricocheting it off the pipe to the 50 yard line just shows, you know, what a goat she is. So overall, I think the Legends game was just a really fun game to watch for fans and for us. And we got to see, um, see them do their thing which was great which was great overall exhibition weekend was awesome um make sure you guys come on out this summer and watch us play the more support the better we really want to make this an awesome league not only for the players but for the fans um and we can't wait to see you guys on the field so go new york fight Woo!